Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to the channel and thanks so much for being here today. It's a real pleasure to see you. I'm your liege lord, the Godless Gamer, and today's video is episode 29 of my Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord series. Uh, we are still in the middle of, like, the mo the grindiest war I've ever played so far in the series. Uh, three grindy wars, because remember, we're in the middle of three, not just one. Uh, but we're making some decent progress in the one against the Kuzates, so... And I'm actually hoping that we can end uh, the war with the Kuzates today, because uh, we did switch our strategy up from uh, fighting a lot of open field battles and taking Lords prisoner. That doesn't seem to be really working for us well. Uh, so instead, we're just focusing on conquest and today's episode the conquest that we're getting is all kuzate it's it's everything that they that that they had basically the beginning uh, aside from some other things like up here in storgia uh, uh they are taking things from the sturgeons but i'm not counting these i'm counting everything that at the start of the game is kuzate like all the cities that are kuzate culture like we've taken all the imperial settlements from them last episode so now it's time to eat into their own empire see how they like it and I think getting cities of the uh, of the culture of the owner, like uh, taking a Kuzate city from the Kuzates, is going to be a big deal and really help our progress because we're only at 17 right now, which is ridiculous. Uh, hence the grindiness of the war. According to the war exhaustion, we're slaughtering them. Look at this casualties, all these casualties and all these battles that we have. Look how many prisoners we've taken. So every one of these people is one fewer party wandering around like trying to prevent prevent me from doing things so the conquest that we're dealing are the uh the battles that we're going to be doing today it's just going to be against the garrisons there might be an odd open field battle but i don't think they're going to be able to muster the amount of numbers that they've been able to up to this point so it's really the defenders of uh all the settlements that we're really going to have to deal with i want to try hopefully to take makeb this is the capital of the Kuzates. I want to take this, I want to take Chai Khand, and hopefully we can take Akalot too. Three cities, that should be enough to at least make a decent amount. I don't know if I have to get to 100 in order to complete this. I, I still don't know. Um, it's very fuzzy, but we're going to do our best. Uh, is there anything I need to do before we get moving here? No, not really. Uh, Maranath is being sieged. We saw that at the end of the last episode. Uh, there's... 900 defenders or something here 991 defenders if that's not enough to defend the city it's just not enough i've done all i can to reinforce the garrisons here like i've been sending out recruiters using my mod and stuff it and i mean that was the best i can do a thousand defenders like i said if that's not enough to defend this then we're gonna lose it i i don't know what to tell you i i really don't know i can't be everywhere i'm not freaking Goku and I can't instant transmission everywhere so um I do need to heal up a bit but we will heal up during the siege uh is this guy trying to join me he is Serratus's party is going to join us I know it's a big ask getting three cities but we're going to try to make it happen let's go uh Makeb. let's take it this is the Kuzate capital uh let's help this guy We are at your mercy. It's another prisoner. Just check for myself and my brother. Nothing. I don't want Kuz 8 gear anyway. Okay. Let me... Let me do this siege in peace. Hopefully nothing big happens while I'm sieging. No more developments. Oh, let's hope. Uh, I'm going to use this opportunity. I usually skip the siege phase. Let me get things built, though, while I talk. Uh, I do want to give some uh, some news about the channel. The channel is doing, like, really, really well right now, and it's kind of crazy. I'm getting, like, record numbers of views and subs and hours watched and all the stuff that the YouTube's analytics, uh, like, keeps track of. Uh, we're doing really well, and that's all because of you guys. So uh, if there's anybody watching, any recent subs who are watching... Um, my content and you just subbed recently welcome to the channel guys it's a pleasure to have you can't believe that the channel is doing as well as it is and uh, it really is fantastic guys it makes me feel so good it makes me happy that you guys are enjoying the content as much as i enjoy playing oh i need to build my trebuchets too I'm too busy thanking you guys and i'm not paying attention to the damn game 
And then we're just going to try to eliminate all their siege weapons. But anyway, yeah, guys, so thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying uh, the series. It seems to be a lot of people are checking out my Game of Thrones CK3 series, which seems to be doing the best. If it, On the YouTube analytics, it shows you, like, your top five videos, and it's literally episode one, episode two, episode three, episode four, <laughs> and episode five. So people are really enjoying my Game of Thrones CK3 series, which is great and makes sense because, uh, House of the Dragon is doing so well, so that's to be expected, but I think that's phenomenal. Content that I did in the past is getting some fresh eyes, and I'm getting some fresh subs, so all of those are good things, so thank you guys. Um, I won't make you wait for the rest of it, I just wanted to give you guys that update. I thought, I thought I should let you guys know. Sirene is being sieged, so we do have some developments, but the siege just started. So that means I should have some time to get down there by the time we're done with this. But we need to do this quickly. Somebody took Garantor Castle, so my AI is doing things without me needing to be there. I want to see if this guy has land. I can't check. Oh, yes, I can. He doesn't have any land. Oh, yeah, he must have been the owner of one of those castles next to Vlandian territory. And we've lost a couple of castles to the Vlandians, so... This guy needs land. I'll give him the castle. He can take it. Uh, I'm going to double check and make sure that there's nobody else in my faction that's landless. Getting some different music, and we're in a different part of the world, so we're getting some new tunes, and we're not just getting the same old Empire theme music. Alright, so everybody has something now. Perfect. I was thinking about... Ooh, there's another army. I was thinking about possibly bringing in a Kuzate Vassal to weaken them, and to give this city to. Because I'm not going to be able to run it effectively, because I'm Imperial, and this is Kuzate. So, I might need to... Um, Try to convince a lord or two to join me. I have a bunch of them locked up in... Where is it? Amprella. That's it. Right here. I have a bunch of Q's 8 lords here, so we have... We, we'll have our pick of the litter. Uh, we can go through a bunch of lords and see them. I want to prioritize uh, trying to convince faction leaders to join me. That way they'll bring all their parties with them. If I just bring a generic person in... Uh, that's a, a member of a party and not the leader, or not a member of a party, member of a clan. If they're just a member of a clan, I'm just going to be bringing that party in. If I want to bring everybody, I have to convince the leader. So we'll try to convince a leader to uh, to join us and weaken the Kuzates a little bit more. And we're not done with this siege yet. I keep talking. Yeah, run away. Or just, yeah, keep doing that. Okay, we're ready. I didn't even have to skip. <laughs> like, normally I cut that out, but you were here the whole time. Uh, look, we were able to build three of our our trebuchets because they just kept building ballistas, which is like the stupidest thing to do. It's the Kuzates, whatever. What do you expect? They don't know how to defend a city. They're nomadic people. What do they know about running a city? Compared to the Romans? They're nothing. We invented cities. <laughs> well, that's not technically true, but... We perfected them. And what do you know? I don't even like the city. It is positioned. So, I mean, it looks cool. I mean, it it looks okay, but from a strategic standpoint, it is the dumbest place to put a city. Any enemy could just get up on these mountains and just, just engineer rock slides or just completely circumvent the walls. So this is like a one out of five stars for a city. If the Romans had built this city, it would have, been, would have been built properly. Why does this guy not have a face? It's just an eyeball and teeth? Uh-oh. Is the game bugging out or something? There was an update recently, so... No, but as long as the game runs... I can deal with the odd bug or two. Just no game-breaking bugs. I wasn't paying attention to where that went.
All right, this is my first shot, so it's a, uh, hey. It's a calibration shot. A little too much. Tone it down a notch. We're literally going to take it down a notch. We're not just saying that. To turn a phrase. Load me up, Mr. Mustache. I like your mustache. Reminds me of my Bohemian Rhapsody series where mustaches were a big deal. Uh, of course my range is on point and then they all move. I never have luck with the trebuchets. It's just the best way to burn time and wait for the uh, towers to get to the walls. <laughs> what? He survived that? I'm, like, slightly impressed that he survived that. Alright, the Kusates had some pretty decent archers, and they seem to have a lot on the walls, so... Can we hurry up? Hurry it up, boys. Get that tower over here. Ow. Alright, we're doing so, uh, pretty well. We're doing better than I thought we'd do. They have a lot of archers. Well, a decent amount. Alright, hurry up. Let's, let's get up here quickly. Clear out the walls. Take over the gatehouse. I need to prevent them from dropping rocks. Oh, I think that's what that was right there. Oh, no, no. They haven't even breached the gate yet. Or maybe they did. Maybe they did. Let's get over here. Move aside. To hell with you. Sit down. I'm gonna clear the gatehouse. Move it. Out of my way. You bugs. You insects. Hey, that was a short guy. <laughs> you're not so tall when you're not on your horses. Uh-oh, I need to be careful. I'm gonna get surrounded if I'm not careful. <laughs> Alright, let's... Try to get near our men. not get caught in a bottleneck. Alongside them, just killing them one by one.
Like, they're not even trying to fight us. They're just trying to run through us. Like, I don't understand. They're just running along, letting me kill them. It's like, come on, boys. And these guys are just standing there doing nothing. All right. Like, I'm not even gonna move, I'm just gonna stand in one spot and swing, and just see how many kills I get. I'm not moving, I'm being pushed. I'm being pushed. Try not to move. <laughs> so many, <laughs> how many heads I can cut off. If enough of them get away to the keep, we're gonna have to do a stupid keep battle, and I don't want to do that. I don't have time! I got somewhere to be! I got a city to defend. Which I'm not really happy about, because that's gonna pull me away from... Ah! It's gonna pull me away from heading for the next city to take. Nobody's gonna get by me. Seventeen men over there, fifteen. Okay, there's still a battle going on. What am I doing? <laughs> huh. You know what, guys? I think my settings must have been messed with. Because normally, this many dead bodies don't accumulate. <laughs> but, uh... I mean, it looks cooler. You see all the carnage. And you can see how many me of my men died for every one of theirs. It's just a sea of aquamarine. It's walking over their dead bodies. I gained a tactic skill to 172. Oh man, I don't have any throwing weapons. I think he might be the last one. Yep. Yeah, they did retreat to the keep. Alright, fine. Let's do a keep battle. Oh no, we're not going to do it. We're going to skip it. <laughs> It's not necessary for me to be involved in it for us to win. Okay, so we took a city. We have a little bit to manage. Can I recruit some people? No, I don't want any Sturgeons. Imperials only. Increased mount movement speed up 10%. Decreased melee attack damage taken. I'll keep that. Uh, what's my brother got? Uh, the same as me. Would anybody else benefit from movement speed? Nope. Decreased damage taken. Decreased damage taken. <laughs> Decreased damage taken. Increased troop move. Oh, troop movement speed plus 25%. This one is uh, just for them. Uh, Decreased melee damage. All right, you know what? We'll not give it to anybody. This should be a wealthy city because it's their capital, so I should be able to sell all my loot here. Uh, buff the cohesion. 
lock up anybody that we need to, to lock up. I want to see, since they're here, I want to see if any of them are clan leaders. Uh, I think I remember. I think I remember the name of all the people here. Nope, I don't have her. The one-eyed lady. I re I'd remember you. I don't. Nope. Nope. Oh, I haven't met you yet. Nope. I know for a fact. I know for a fact that other guy, the last guy, he's an Imprella. Or at least I thought he was. Maybe he escaped. Yeah, see? Tossler the Kuze says escaped of captivity. Spring 19. Whatever. None of them are, are leaders of their clans. So it's not worth trying to convince any of them to join me. You can finish workshops. You're almost done with that. The loyalty is starting with 70... Once workshops is done, we won't build anything else until I can get a, a governor in here. I'll throw money in, though. Eighty thousand? Just enough. Wonderful. Alright, we'll head for Cyrenea, but before we leave here, since I don't want to deposit any of my party in the garrison, we're going to get a recruiter going. And instead of hiring Empire troops, since we're in Kuzate territory, the recruiter will have an easier time finding Kuzate troops to recruit, so we'll let him do that. Uh, let's get a horseman. Now, I, I'm, I'm tempted to try to fight this little army and capture them, but they're going to pull me in the opposite direction of where I need to go. Who's attacking? I didn't check who's attacking. Are these Kuzates? You know what, guys? It actually might be the Asurai, because there's no way that the Kuzates have enough have enough lords to, to siege this. This might be the Asurai. Uh, the war progress against the Asurai is kind of stagnated. It's kind of been in the 20s for a while. It's not really moving. It's not like it's really going down quickly. Uh, the Valandian one isn't doing so bad either, because we took Garen to our castle back. So, uh, you know what? We're doing all right. I don't necessarily... Ooh, wow, look at that. We we went up. We went from 17 to 34 after taking their capital. So look at that. That's what I'm talking about. So it seems like taking towns is the way to go. It's the way to, to progress this quickly. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just thinking to myself, do we get distracted by Sirene? If it gets taken by the Asurai, it's not great. But I really don't want to get distracted fighting the Asurai. I'm trying to really put the hammer down on the Kuzates. So I might just let them do this and we can worry about it later. I want to head for Chai Khan and take this. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, guys. Maybe, you some, maybe some of you disagree. I'm not happy about losing Cyrenea, but I'll be even happier if I can end this Kuzate war quickly. And getting distracted in Cyrenea won't do that. So, on to the next one. 553 defenders. Most of them are wow. A quite significant fraction of them are militia. Are the who else are the Kuzates fighting? They're involved in three wars right now. They're not only they're fighting me, they're fighting the Sturgeons and the Southern Empire. Thank you. That's that's excellent. They're getting pulled in multiple directions. Wow, I'm actually 
I'm really happy about that. That should speed things along even even better. All right, guys. I will uh, get these things built. We'll get ready for the siege. And we are going to take another city. We're ready to do this assault. This one took a little bit longer than I was... Uh, because they were actually doing the smart thing and building catapults, so it took me a longer, it, it took me a while to, you know, overwhelm, start overwhelming the sea, as you can see by how much they damaged the walls. So, uh, they kind of ran this competently, so they kept me sieging for a long time, but now it's over. Now it's time to take the city, city number two. Please be a good looking city and a well designed one. Not built up against a mountain. It's a small city. I like the I like the castle. I like the the castle or the keep, I should say. I'm sorry. And it is subdivided. It has like a little internal bailey here. But even though this is not a gated gatehouse, and that's not how the game works, but I like how it's designed. It's a straightforward city in the middle of a desert. <laughs> well, not really a desert. This is the step, I guess. It's we're in the step. All right, so I like it. It's a cool city. Uh, three stars. Oh, you know what? Four stars. I'm going to give it four stars because it's got a cool keep and I like the the straightforward practical design. We have four trebuchets. Take the shot. I want to see where you go. Or don't completely disobey me. <laughs> Just laugh at our men and see if that motivates them. I can't. How do? How can they even see what they're aiming at? How, how the hell do you see what you're aiming at? This trebuchet still has not fired. And that's wonderful. This guy is, uh... <laughs> just fucking out. Oh wow, they uh, they don't even need another person. Like they can operate this with just three or uh, just two people. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I just I'm trying to burn time until the siege weapons get to the uh, thing. I, I didn't want to get on any of the trebuchets. There's like no crenels on this part of the wall. <laughs> I hit that guy in the nuts. I'm just imagining Kuzate cities or Kuzate cities just smelling like horse horse shit. Like the only thing you smell for miles as you approach the city. Wow, why are archers wasting ammunition trying to hit these people? Oh, you know what? I could have put the ladders up. I could have just put the ladders up and went up that way. That's what I'm going to do. I'm an impatient man today. I want to end this freaking war with the Guzates. Dragged on long enough. Let's put up the other ladder, too. Oh. It's too late. They can't push this ladder down. I'm too far up. Nope. You waited too long. You're dead. He 
Each shirt change color. Love it. <laughs> that guy died funny. Like, see, they're not even trying to fight me. They just stand there. They come on. This is what happens when you join conspiracies, doomed to fail conspiracies against me. Your cities get taken, your people get slaughtered. Ow. I'm just gonna throw into the mass. <laughs> See, that's what's so nice about throwing weapons. Just spray and pray. I'm not aiming at all. I'm just <laughs> approximating. And I just got a bunch of kills. Even though I am a human pincushion right now. Look at all the arrows coming out of me. I can take it. Look at all the kills that we're getting in such quick succession. I I almost feel bad for them. I do like all the bodies everywhere, but I normally don't let them accumulate this much because it's just more requirements on the computer and I'm, I'm worried about performance because I'm filming a video for you guys, so I don't want things to be too ridiculous, but I um, don't seem to be having any issues. Just look at all the carnage. Like, none of my men basically are a part of this. That was so easy, 13 deaths. Now let's see how the progress... Let's see how much progress we got. Increased range damage? No. My relation is decreased with Ostikos? Why? Oh, I guess they... They wanted the right of, uh... The right of pillage and stuff, and I denied them. Uh, we didn't capture any named people. That makes things easy. How are we doing on food? 91 days worth of food, so we're good. Let's trade. How rich... Ooh, wow, an even nicer... Uh, even wealthier city than the last one. The city is wealthier than the uh, the capital. Let's check the progress now. 73. 70. One more city will do it. One more. I am so happy. You can hear it in my voice. We are about to end this damned war. Um, my brother is my quartermaster. Plus four party morale when number of mounts is greater than number of foot troops. Does that all ha happen occasionally? 
Has my cavalry formation been larger than my infantry ever? I guess it does happen sometimes. I'll do that. All right, Julius Cincinnatus got more athletic. It's been working out. He's been working out too. All these guys are getting a nice workout. <laughs> Fighting in all these battles. Uh, we'll do that. Walk it off is the better one. It's way better than the other one. I don't really care about some of these cities. Um, I care more about the one that we just took, uh, the previous one, because that's actually the capital. So I can see myself holding on to this, but I'm not really concerned with these other cities. I'm just trying to take them and just end this war quickly. So we're just going to move on. Uh, did I sell everything? Yes. Uh, we gave away our prisoners. Yes. I don't want to recruit. Oh, there's no recru recruits anyway. I don't want Kuzay troops. With the performance that they've been demonstrating, trying to defend, I don't want them as part of my army. They're a liability part of my army. Oh, I can't take Akalot. The Southern Empire took it. Okay. You know what? I wonder if the Southern Empire taking this sped up the progress. Maybe that's why it was such a big jump. Our war progress. That might be... Uh, that might be a thing. No, but at the same time, the Kuzates took this, right? Or maybe they did own that... Okay, never mind. I, th I think that is... I think that helped us. So the Southern Empire is helping us out right now. Okay, whatever. We're going to go for or Ortengard. Ortengard. There is a pass through the mountains right here. So we'll head for this city. How many defenders? We can't see yet. Three hundred ninety-eight. This could be a an auto resolve, but I don't think I want to auto resolve it. I don't want to lose that many men. I want to be a good leader. I don't want to get men killed unnecessarily. I'm gonna wait around and see if he left. Yep, that party left, so that's fewer defenders. Excellent. All right, siege number three. <laughs> We're just going from siege to siege to siege. But that's okay. We are progressing this war. I do like the uh, the design just from the campaign map. The design of the city. Just the multiple layers of defense. I like that. Watch. It's going to look nothing like this when we see the city in, in battle. Hey guys, we're in the middle of the siege. We just took Thraktore. So my AI vassals are doing their damn jobs. They are progressing this war against the Vlandians without me having to be there. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Curion, I don't know. Okay, so everybody in my faction owns at least one thing. Nobody has any doubled up holdings as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong about that actually, but as far as I know... Nobody owns more than one thing. So if this is the, the first person to get a second holding, I'm okay with that. I don't want to do it too much. Like, I want to make sure I spread out uh, the things that we're giving away because I don't want one person to get super powerful by accumulating a bunch of stuff. We want to try to spread the wealth. So as far as I know, I own, own, nobody has more than one thing. So if this guy's the first person to get two, that's fine. Let me double check. Let me double check. And Curion. He should be the only person with two things. Uh oh. Somebody doesn't have something. Two people don't have something. What's going on? What's going on behind the scenes over here, guys? 
I can't see because I'm sieging. Okay. We'll figure it out after the battle. This was a really fast siege. They couldn't build their siege weapons quickly. They just couldn't keep up. Here we go. How many defenders again? 394, and all of them basically are militia. So it's going to be another massacre. Like, forgive me, guys. I know I could auto-resolve some of these, but I just don't want to lose an unnecessary like amount. The auto-resolve gets your men killed. If you want to be lazy and do it that way... Like, I'm not saying it's lazy. Like, if I had, like... A bunch of men that I didn't mind losing, I do an honor resolve, but hey, look at this. Interesting. See, that's what I like. An interesting, unique design. It's like a circular design here. And there's like a bunch of bastions. And I've mentioned several times that I like bastions. I like this. They just need to add another wall around this this city or around the keep. And that would be a solid concentric castle. Have to keep right in the middle another wall. I like it. Four out of five stars. You know what? I'll even give this five stars. Who's eights? You know, it's different. It's different than what we're used to. That's what I like about it. This guy still has no face. <laughs> you know what? There's ladders over here. I'm going to go put those up. Let's get through this. Uh, doing these siege battles manually eats into the like my videos a lot, so I want to try to speed up uh, how fast we get these done. Uh, the ladder doesn't have to go up that high. And since uh, uh, since this uh, the ladder is as like, such a shallow angle. Like, I can't imagine how hard it would be for somebody to try to push me over. Ooh, nice hit. That better not come near me. The next shot better not kill me. So we're gonna give that part of the wall a wide berth. Or let's just get away from this part of the wall. Clear out the gatehouse so they can't drop rocks. Let's hope that this siege is enough to end the war. To, to force a peace treaty. My spear some love or not because the instant they get two feet in front of you can't do anything with it
Man, we haven't even gotten through the gate yet. Let's open that up. Or maybe we did get maybe we did get through the gate, but they just focused on entering other ways. Nope, we haven't even bashed the gate down yet. Let's open that. Alright, hurry. Yeah, stop bashing it down. There's no no reason to, guys. Let's go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> really? Boys, let's go. <laughs> they locked me out. I'm looking up, trying to make sure there's no rock droppers. Oh, you like that shot through the through the thing. Five deaths. It would have been easily ten times, maybe even twenty times worse if I had auto-resolved that. Decre decrease taken melee ta attack damage. Ten? Or fifteen percent? Uh, fifteen. Let's replace him. That. Yeah, people don't like that I'm just claiming these myself. Well, too bad. Too bad. 87. So we still have one more to go. Alright, fine. Next. I'm focusing on the cities. I'm not focusing on the on the castles. I could care less about the castles. Uh, let's, go, let's go take Balticon. <laughs> uh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. I'm getting hasty. I'm getting hasty. Origer is isn't that a one of the leaders? Nope. The rest of these people, these are all mercenary bands. They are pulling out all the stops. They are hiring as many mercenary bands as they can to try to pick up the slack of all their imprisoned lords, but it's not enough. It is not enough, my friends. It's too late for that. Uh, tavern district, sell. Trade, sell. Uh, the loyalty needs some work here, so let's stop all building projects till this gets up. To a decent amount. I'm not going to bother trying to send out recruiters for these cities. Because I don't care. Let's get up to Balticond. And then maybe that'll be enough. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be enough. Rag oh yeah, we, we forgot. We have to take a look at what's going on over here. Uh, the Asurai took Garantor Castle back after we just took it. And Thraktore is under siege. And Maranath we lost. We ended up losing it. Everything else is okay. It's just this part of the battlefields we're, we're losing. 
Uh, but let's check the progress with the other wars. Th minus 32 with the Valandians. Minus 47 with the Asurai. So that took a jump. Uh, the Asurai took Cyrenea too. Okay. I can't be worried about it. And I'm not worried about it. Let's stay on track here. Kuzate's at 87, baby. Monchug escaped. That little bastard. He escaped. Uh, this is a very weak garrison. Mostly militia and Monchug. He locked himself in. So. That's good for me. Alright. Assault or siege number four. Here we go. Seize your salt number four, ready to go. Boom. Let's go. I think for the sake of expediency, uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did in the last battle. We're just going to go up the ladders and we'll slaughter them again. Uh, the only real defenders are Monchuk's party. Uh, this is... A, this city... Uh... I don't know. I don't have anything necessarily bad to say about it. There's no part there's there's no part of the land that's above the city where I can manufacture a, like it's entire I think it's tire entirely enclosed by a wall. So, I guess it's okay. Not where I'd build my city, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> I love this faceless guy with just an eyeball and teeth. All right, where are the ladders? Where are the ladders at? Oh, they're right there. Okay. Let's capture Monchug. And it might be really nice. It might be perfect. Because after we take this city. And after we capture Monchug. And since he's going to be our prisoner again. We might be able to get a peace treaty. Or he might just acquiesce instantly. Let's see how it goes. Can't let them push that other ladder off. Move. Okay, we're getting up. They have a lot of archers down there, so I need to get out of the open. A leg! There we go. There's something we haven't seen in a while. Oh! Ouch! Okay, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're gonna lose way more people than if I had just stayed alive like a smart person, but... We'll win the siege. We'll be fine. The tower's up. Doing well there. I'm sorry, guys. Look, <laughs> I'm. I could going up the ladders is just inherently more dangerous than going with the tower or going in with the battering ram because you don't get any reinforcements if you go up the ladders. There we go. Let's see, 52 kills or 52 deaths. And they retreated to the keep. Damn it. Alright, we still won. I was overdue to get knocked down in a battle. Oh, 
I'll let him pillage it. I don't care about the city. I should have let him pillage the past couple of cities, but... Um... A hundred. Oh, no, no, 97. It's 97. Uh, let me see if I can still try to get a peace treaty. Uh, is that enough? Because we do have Monchug in here, so, uh... Is he in my... Is he in my party, or is he in prison? I think he's in the dungeon. Alright, Monchug, you idiot. Let's have a chat. It's been a Our realm should make peace. I don't have the authority. So we just have to force a peace treaty. That's what has to happen. You can't you can't try to convince them no matter what. It has to get to a hundred and you have to force them to make peace. You can't you can't preemptively get a peace treaty, which kinda sucks. Whatever. Back in prison with you. I think taking a castle would would end it. Um, let's see, are the Kuzates doing anything else to me? They're raiding one of my... Uh, oh, they took Serato's back. And they took Epinosa back. Damn it! See, this is the thing. Like, this is... Uh, uh, it looks like the Southern Empire is about to take Usek Castle, but it's like, if you're not there, they're going to start taking things back. And then that means that a couple of my vassals lost their castles. And I want those back before the war ends, so let's go take one of these back. And uh, after we do that, it'll give me some time to heal up, actually. Traveling over here. Ninety-seven. Okay. Depending on how many defenders are in these castles, I might just auto-resolve it. Oh, no. Nope. Peace offered from the Kuzate. Exhausted from the war, the clans of the Kuzate offered to me. You know what? Even though they have some of the things that I... That I, uh... I really would have liked to have ended the war while still holding on to the Imperial settlements that we had taken from them. But now, if we get a peace treaty now, it's going to be status quo. I'm going to have a bunch of cities that I don't care about. I mean, they're going to be making me more money than these, but uh, what was nice about the castles is that I can give them to vassals. I don't want to give uh, towns to vassals. And all the vassals that I have, I can't give them these because uh, all my all my vassals are Imperial and they wouldn't be able to run the cities very effectively because they're all Kuzate. You know, I'm going to take the peace treaty. That ends it. Whatever. We'll deal with this later. We'll just deal with it later. Let's get ourselves down here to Sirenea. Let's actually take a breather. We'll stop off at Umbrella. How are we doing on time? Uh, according to my recording time, we're over an hour, but um, let's get some more things done before I start wrapping it up. Because I do trim a lot out from uh, the sieges and stuff, so for you guys, it might be uh, not quite an hour. Um, I'm going to keep this army together for a little bit longer. Still no recruits. Let's go take Sirenea back. Let's start progressing our war against the Kuzates. Uh, excuse me, the Asurai, not the Kuzates. Uh, the Asurai. Uh, we're losing against them the hardest. 
And then I think once we, I, th I think what the, let's talk about what we're going to do here. I think we're going to take back what the Asurai have taken up to this point. Like, we'll take Sirenea, we'll take Odrisa, Donustica, and Lavenia back. We'll take these three back. And then I'm going to completely abandon this part of the map because I can still fight the Kuzates right here. So we're going to shift all of our focus to this side so we can focus or we can fight the Vlandians and the Asurai essentially at the same time. Whereas over here, I can only fight the Asurai. Over here, I can fight both of them. You know what I mean? So um, we'll, we'll do as much damage against the Asurai here, take back what we can. Uh, and then at some point we'll shift over here. We're not going to do it this episode because we're running out of time. And I think we're just going to take Sarenea back before we end this. But now that we have that war out, uh, over and done with, let's check our diplomacy situation. Can we get any non-aggression packs or anything? I would need to work really hard to get a non-aggression pact with the... Uh, the required score is 100, and we're at negative 100, so I would have to do a lot of work there. It's even worse for the Batanians. It's really bad for them. There's just no possibility of any kind of diplomacy at this point right now. Which is a little unfortunate, but... Whatever. Let's go to Samantha. I know it's Samantha, but Samantha to me. No recruits. Wow. One horseman. Alrighty, lords and ladies. There's 701 defenders here. I, I'll heal up definitely to 100% by the time we start this, and, and I'll try not to die, but uh, the numbers might be a little scary. Oh, wow, they have a lot of parties in here. They have a lot of parties in here. Can I bring anybody in? Because I have to do this before I start the siege or I won't be able to. Is there anybody nearby I can bring in? There's a guy two days away. There's another guy two days away. All right, we'll bring in some reinforcements. By the time we start the siege, the reinforcements will have arrived. And then that should make up for our uh, lack of numbers. I have to be a little concerned about this because a lot of them are high-quality troops. It's not a lot of, like, militia. There's, like, no militia in here. We can do it. Oh. I was hoping that this guy would run away. Nope. Halt there. So tell me who I fight. Did he just pull everybody out of the out of the city? Oh no 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 no. I'm sorry, this is my side. I was about to say, did he just pull all these people out? He just let himself get captured. What a dumbass. I give up. Alright, what is this? Our fifth siege of the episode? Our fifth and final siege? Because we're going to wrap this one up after it. We go. Oh no no, this guy hasn't arrived yet. Do I wanna do I wanna wait for him to show up? Do I wanna wait for 123 more men? I guess I could. You know what? We're gonna wait a second. There we go. He wasn't that far away. But let's destroy this catapult first. Hurry up. There we go. A good old-fashioned Imperial City again. We're out of the Kuze territory with their ugly cities. Well, not ugly, but just not as cool as the, and the Empire ones. 
Here we go. We've seen this city before. What is that? Oh, is this the aqueducts? Oh, I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Uh, once you build up the aqueducts, that's what this is. It's just a big cistern for uh, for water. It's cool. Uh, we were able to heal up 100%. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get up on the walls, but instead of going off by myself like an idiot, we'll try to stay by our men. Uh, he might have enough time to push me over. Nope. Nope, it's too late for that. It's too late. You waited too long. Alright, I'm just gonna defend the ladders and make sure they don't push them over and just wait for my my boys to get up here. Ow, 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 ow. I'm just making the same mistake again. Come on. Come on. As long as I don't get attacked from behind, you should be fine. It's not just a bunch of militia this time, it's like actually good troops. Making good progress, we're making progress. Pushing them back, pushing them off the ladders. I like their I like their Hershey Kiss helmets. to stay with our men. I don't have the health to go up by myself.
Ow. Are you serious? We only just breached the gate. Wow, look at all these dudes here. Really? How am I not hitting anything? Really? Ow. Alright. <laughs> uh, we should be fine. We should be fine. At least I hope so. Yeah, it's over. It's over. That's it. Alright, well done, men. Picking up the slack. Alright, so, for, for anybody who's wondering why I typically don't go up the ladders, I've just been doing it for expediency, just to get the, through the thing faster. But, uh, that's one of the downsides to going up the ladders, is that... Enough. It definitely Doing. makes things harder. Stop. I and and on top of all that, they had a lot of high quality people. Oh, we freed somebody from captivity. Have we freed another person? Free two ladies. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, we need to lock up one person. And I just got better armor. Mastercrafted Southern Scale over Chain Hallberg. That's a mouthful. It's better in every way. Except weight. It's almost twice as heavy. This is Aserai armor, I think, right? Is this Aserai armor? <laughs> Whatever, we'll do our hand-me-down stuff. I'll give that to my brother. My old armor. We'll give his old armor to you. All right, so we have some new armor. We got some better javelins, too. All right, excellent. Got some new stuff. That's cool. I'll give my old javelins to my brother. Uh... No, he already has legendary woodland javelins. All right, never mind. All right. Was a little irresponsible there. Could have done better with those two battles and not died. But or well, not not died, but not gotten knocked down. But we still won. That's what matters. Captured a bunch of people. Let's see how much we've progressed against the Aserai. We were in the negative forties. We should be better now. Negative 30 now. So we have a lot of work ahead of us, but we did complete one of the wars. We got that out of the way, and then once we get all three of these wars out of the way and done, we can go back to fighting wars the old-fashioned way, uh, the easier and more convenient way, uh, and all when when all we have to worry about is war exhaustion, you know? It'll be nice to get back to that method of fighting wars, but we have to get these other ones done first. So there we go. We took care of the Kuzate War. The Kuzates are a shadow of their former selves. Uh, they only have three towns, and I'm sure they have a, a couple of castles smattered around everywhere. Yeah, the, including the two that they took. Oh, no, no. Uh, the Southern Empire took it from the Kuzates. The Southern Empire took Seratos.
which means that at some point I'm going to have to fight the South to get these. But I'd rather the Southern Empire have it than the Kuzates. That's fine with me. We're going to have to fight the Southern Empire at some point. And it's probably going to be soon. They're probably going to try to find an excuse to declare war on me while I'm fighting these two wars. But that's okay. If the Southern Empire declares war on us, it'll be an old-fashioned war. And it won't be a stupid quest war. You know? Alright, so that's going to do it for this one. Uh, did I lock up everybody? That's a lot of money. Did I lock up everybody? Yeah, we just have a bunch of prisoners. Not a very wealthy city. I'll hold on to what I've got until we get to a place that can afford it. Uh, let me level up, too. Dragging this one out. Marcus the Outcast, you've got Athletics. Alright, so, okay, so next episode we know what we're going to start doing. I, I might have to mess around with my army. A lot of people have taken attrition, but we can start letting some people go uh, and let them off and, and go do their own thing. But uh, the plan of action is going to take some of these back, Danustica, Odrisa, and Lavenia, give these two castles to some vassals that lost land, and then after we take those three, get our butts over here and uh, start dealing with the Vlandians as well. I'm not happy that they took Maranath, but... Ooh, they took Hertogea too. And they took Ursego's castle. So the Vlandians are just kind of running roughshod, doing everything, doing everything that they want. And uh, it's kind of funny that they're completely avoiding all of the cities, uh, besides Marinaf, but they're, they're completely avoiding all these cities because they're garrisoned so well. Oh, we've, been a, we've been doing a good job garrisoning these cities. So a lot to deal with in the next one. The Vlandians are making progress against us, which isn't great, but well, we still have time. Uh, time enough to deal with the Asurai here and then to get over here and start taking some of these things back. We have a lot of work cut out for us, but at least we ended one of the wars, guys. I'm I'm happy with that. I am happy. But anyway, this one has gone this one has gone on so long. Hope you guys don't mind. If you were, if you really enjoyed this episode, don't forget as always to hit that thumbs up button. If you would like to subscribe, that subscribe button is not too far away from that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Join us. Become become an awesome lord or lady. Help me get up towards. 1800 subs we're almost there and we're also getting pretty close to 2000 which is crazy <laughs> so if you are not subbed hit that subscribe button leave your comments guys and i will see you guys in the next one episode 30 will be coming at you soon but until then have a good one guys